What's good, Ballin' Squad? It's your boy, Back to Ballin' Will, and I'm coming to you guys today with another lit reaction video, bro. In this reaction video today, man, we're about to react to the fastest man on two hands. Whew. That boy breaking records out here, bro. That is crazy. He only has two hands, bro. Like, thank you, God, that, like, I'm fortunate enough to have my, like, legs, also my arms, and just everything, bro, because, like, most people don't have it, bro. Like, you know, like, you really got to be grateful for the smaller things and, like, in life because like everything counts bro like we're blessed to see we're blessed to hear like it's crazy that we can do these things like because some people are unfortunate enough to not like have those things you know so like try to be grateful like the things that you do have and also the things that you don't have because you know it's always good to be grateful can y'all please like comment and sub without further ado let's get right i study the best guys in the world and i compete against the best guys in the world and now I'm gonna beat the best guys in the world. And that's just how I see it. Yeah. I Fuck posted a video on my Instagram and I was running real fast. Like I did Whoa. about 20, 20, 25 yards in only like three, four seconds. And they were just like, wow. And they were like, we think you could set a record. And I was like, sure, if you wanna, want me to try it. Guinness World Records is there. Jeez. Everybody's there. Former Olympians, former world record holders are all there. That's insane, bro. Like he is gifted. Bro, like, nice, bro. And he's not letting nothing stop him. Supporting me, hyping me up, um, getting me going, and then I just took off, man. Take off. Come on, baby, come on. Come on, come on. Let's get it. Let's go. And the crazy thing was, my first one was actually faster than my second one. I was moving so fast that I crazy. slid into it and ducked under the sensor. So I had to go do it again. <laughs> wow. I was expecting, I was like, y'all don't understand. 4.78 seconds? Bro, it'll take me 10 seconds to get down there, bro. It'll take me 10 seconds to get down there. Like, I'm going to be under five seconds, maybe even under four, and I called it. First thing I said, the second I was done, I looked at all of I said, I told you. <sighs> what I said, I said, I told you exactly what I was about to do, and I just did it. To be a Guinness World Record title holder, the I'm Guinness. number one. Okay. You know, there's nobody faster than me right now. I'm the fastest man on their hands in the world, but at the same time, it also means that my family's winning, my town's winning, and my support group's winning because without them, I would Look how mature and look how, like, freaking dedicated and motivated he is, bro. He makes me want to go to the gym, y'all. Like, wow, bro. Thank you, sir. I'm be here doing this for you guys. So I was born with, with cauterie regression syndrome. It's a very rare disease. I always work with what I got because... I don't really have any other cards that are dealt to me. Yeah. A lot of people say Foster. Look at the tattoo, no excuses, bro. That's my mother. Motivating. I'm not a big fan of that because she is my mother. The foster care system reached out to my mom, said that we've exhausted all our options and that could you take in this, take in this boy? And then man, about seven months later, question, the conversation came up about me being adopted. And a week after that, I was just like, yeah, this is it. This is what I want. And five years later, and it's the best thing that's ever happened to me. Nice. I was just like, you know what? I'm not gonna be weak anymore. And then I just put in the work as much as I could every day. I was going to two or three wrestling practices a day for seven days a week. Man, by the time my senior year of high school came around, I became one of the best guys in the state. Nice. And soon after that, I became one of the best guys in the country. Wow. I'm really willing to put it all on the line to achieve my top goal of being the best wrestler, being the best track athlete. It's usually not the first choice for most people giving it's the world's most dangerous and oldest sport. And I just thought it looked fun. Everybody just accepted me in as one of them. They didn't look at me as I was different. They went hard against me just like I wanted them to. And that's what it's all about, bro. It's just like taking chances and just taking risks, bro. And shout out to my guy right here. And the wrestling world really is like a close family worldwide. And that's what I loved about it. I pushed myself to my absolute limit because by the time I am an Olympian, and I'm a world champion wrestler, I'm gonna be shattering glass ceiling repeatedly. Yeah. My future, I see myself being a multiple time Olympic champion. And I just see myself being that all around champ. I wanna win more medals than Michael Phelps. Speak it to existence, bro. I love to see it. I love to see it, bro. Dude, I want I wanna be that guy. I'm gonna be that guy. Because why not? I know people that have disabilities, that have disabilities the same as mine that have disabilities that are more severe than mine. And I see them becoming high level athletes 
every day. Yeah. It's all about how much heart you got and how much work you're willing to put in. I, I, I'll tell that to any kid with disabilities. I'll tell that to a kid that doesn't have a disability. My message stays the same. I just kind of, just whatever rolls off the tongue, rolls off the tongue. Nice, nice. Well, I appreciate your work ethic, bro. And um, that's the end of the video, y'all. Can I please like, comment, and sub? Without further ado, let me know what you guys want me to react to next. And I got y'all. We out, man.